Southern California. Here's a little tutorial on a thing we call luminosity masking. Now, I didn't use this for a long time, and let me explain what it's going to do. I've got an image here I took with flash, and I purposely made a shadow on my ceiling fan. I uh, don't usually have a problem with this anymore, uh, but you guys, I'm sure, have all dealt with it. And uh, until your lighting gets better, you can certainly uh, use this trick to get rid of ceiling fans, but also I'm going to use it to, let me show you the ambient frame. Ambient frame, I'm going to use it to get shadows, like down here, shadows, shadow, but mainly to get rid of that, um, that ceiling fan shadow. So you can see the bad parts. Also, I like the shadows here, here. So anyway, so what I'm going to do, and I don't want to deal with the color cast, so I'm going to do a luminosity mask. Anyway, I'm going to bring these two files into Photoshop as layers. Just a second, they'll open up. Do wish I had some elevator music. There we go. Okay. Come on. Come on. Usually it's faster. I've been bragging how fast my computer is, but a little slow today. Anyway, we've got the lit frame on top of the ambient frame. So what I want to do is drag the ambient frame up on top. So that's what we're going to be masking in. Next, I'm going to go and I'm going to create a layer mask. Okay, add a layer mask. What I'm going to do on my Mac, I'm a Mac, I'm going to hold down the Option key. It's the Alt key on a PC, and as I click Add Layer Mask, it's all ready now and all set up. So I want to make sure I have white to paint in. My layer mask is selected. And I'm going to go to Paintbrush, and I'm going to go a soft brush. It's very important. I'm going to just go zero hardness, soft brush. Okay. Then up here, 100% opacity, and where I might use normally 3%, as an average flow, I'm going to go 5% so you can see it a little faster, a little better. So I'm going to go down here. If I did not pick luminosity mask and I was doing normal, if I masked in the ceiling, it's going to turn that orange from the lighting of the ambient shot. That doesn't work. So what you want to do is just go, if you don't want any of the, I'll go back to the Lightroom. Here's the lit shot. Here's the ambient shot. I like the light of the ambient shot, but I don't like the colors. Normally in the past, I would just change the white balance of the ambient shot, but you don't need to do that. Go in here. I'm going to switch this from normal down to luminosity. So it's only going to use the attributes of the light. And I'm going up here, going to paint it in. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I got rid of the shadow, ceiling fan shadow. I got a little um, bit of shadow in there. The colors have changed, but I don't really mind it because what else I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down a little bit of the ambient there, a little window light in there. And now look at here. You see how dark this is? I didn't even put a light here because I knew I'd be doing this. I'm bringing in a little bit of light there. So, backwards. It also adds a nice shadow to this side of the wall. Darker. Just adding a little normal shadows. Now down here on the cabinet, a little bit of shadow. Look at that. Shadows. Okay, right here is a big one. Watch around here. This is a big one here because it was very bright in the other shot. So I'm painting it in. And you don't want to go too much flow because you just want to be subtle. Look at nice shadows. And then just lastly, I'm going to put in the little shadows from this corner. Okay. There we go. 
Okay, there's the original shot. This is the after. Original, after. I like the after a lot more. You might like the uh, original. You can do it to taste. But mainly, look at the ceiling fan. I got rid of the ceiling fan shadow. And I think it looks fine. And in Lightroom, when I bring it in, I can do various things, like add a little contrast to it, get a little more like I like it. So now, I'm just going to close this out, and I'm going to do something new this tutorial. I'm going to show you how quickly I can do it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, edit in Photoshop. And if you have a faster computer, it's going to help your workflow. Okay, have a sip of coffee while I wait. Okay, remember to drag your photo there. Create a layer mask. Luminosity. Boom. I'm all set up there. And this is all real time. I'm not speeding this up at all. A lot of guys are doing tutorials where they're speeding them up. I learned nothing from that. <laughs> I appreciate you doing them, guys, but uh, it's not helping me anyway. It's a little different ceiling, but it's not bad. There we go. Check the before and after. Good. Save. I don't know if you were using a stopwatch on that, but that's probably about uh, a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. So I think it's uh, well worth it to um, to get the results um, from this, the attributes from this, and uh, as opposed to that. There you go. Okay, thank you very much, Rich Bound Photography, Sacramento, California. Quit, keep doing the good work.